Actually, Novantes is an eight years old company. And uh, like I have been part of Innovantes for last four, four over years. We have uh, uh, presence in nine different countries. Wherever we went and met customers, new customers, the new customers told that they already know us. Whatever we are doing, we are doing it right. And customers are, you know, knowing us before we reach uh, to customers. So far, none of our project has actually gone uh, beyond the timeline and because of that none of our project has exceeded any budget and we can see that the pipeline uh, for future is very strong for us Thank you, Dr. Sukanta, uh, for speaking with WGIC and welcome uh, to WGIC uh, and uh, uh, the rich tapestry of uh, geospatial companies in the world. I want to start uh, with the yes. interview uh, with a single question that is a global phenomenon, the digital transformation uh, we are seeing across the world, and which is no longer an option, uh, but a business imperative for every tech and non-tech company alike, right? So what are your views on this trend and how is Innovantage uh, position to facilitate digital transformation solutions? Throw some light on this. Uh, if you see our tagline is actually stay digitally ahead with us. So that means we give the utmost priority to digital transformation. And when we started Innovantage, actually, uh, you know, we went to customer uh, with this, that whatever is your digital transformation project, it, it, it need not to be GIS, it need not to be a DMS or whatever we do. You know, we went to customer, we we did a lot of research and investment on their digital transformation journey. So we actually map it. We then started investing on it and uh, uh, and we created that, uh, you know, digital journey with our customer. So that's why we say that stay digitally ahead with us. I will explain like why, you know, when we started this, we thought, you know, what is the need? What is the need of uh, this digital transformation? Like customer wants to, you know, uh, rapidly uh, changing environment. Customer want to stay ahead with this. They, they are seeing that technology advancement is happening. So they, they want to be more relevant. So they want to change the process. And same also us, you know, the vendors also want to change the process to create a better customer experience. OK, so then uh, Innovantes, you know, uh, started partnering with such customers and we we identified a few areas like, uh, you know, a uh, couple of uh, software development, data analytics, cloud computing and various, uh, you know, uh, other digital transformation project like artificial intelligence uh, and uh, so and so. So while we were actually doing it, you know, thinking all these uh, 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 you know, on these items, actually, uh, we thought that what is our uh, unique uh, selling point? What, like, how we will make it different? So we went ahead. We, you know, we started uh, with the customer from the very beginning. When actually, you know, the discussion is at a very initial stage. Then we we did the initial consultation. We uh, strategize our development approach along with customers thinking. So by the time customers th thought process is matured on their digital transformation, we already have a product. So we did a rapid you know, digital transformation product development for customers uh, journey and we showed it to them. Customer was also very impressed uh, in, in such initiative. Then we implemented. It was very successful on uh, almost all the occasions and uh, then we realize that customers, our customers are generally very big in nature, like, uh, for example, TNB in Malaysia or uh, uh, Southern California edition in US. So they they actually manage customers uh, at a national level, uh, their customers at national level. They have customers like few million customers to uh, 5 million to 10 million uh, customer range. So uh, for that, they need to actually, you know, uh, have multiple systems, not only one system. The systems are very complex. So when we do the digital transformation, we integrate that transformation program to all the remaining systems. So that is where actually, you know, we saw the uh, programs became more successful. 
and of course you know uh, did the implementation uh, we provided the support maintenance uh, going forward till now you know all the support maintenance of such digital transformation project is going on fine there are new digital transformation project going on all over the world and in this uh, what we decided uh, you know uh, uh, from the beginning that whatever revenue comes back we must put 20% of that back into research and development because this is what has been done because we did the research and development at the beginning of the journey so and that actually you know uh, created a significant impact on the you know follow up digital transformation engagement with customer and uh, of course uh, the quality team you know started interacting with the uh, team with the customer from the beginning of the project uh, you know instead of just make a mistake then change the uh, or uh, uh, in, uh, increase the quality we did the corrective action from the beginning so uh, for everything whether it is data model or it is source code or it is documentation quality team was all along so any small deliverable even a minute some meeting exchange with customer the quality uh, team has to you know approve it so that is and uh, the benefit what we got from all this exercise or this uh, hard work and effort is so far none of our project has actually gone uh, beyond the timeline and because of that none of our project has exceeded any budget issue so uh, you know if we compare some of the project with uh, you know other project happening worldwide we have always seen that we are 20 to uh, 30% ahead of time and 20 to 30% you know below the uh, budget of uh, uh, such project so that's uh, what is our uh, you know digital transformation journey yeah so in the sense uh, you, you said uh, some of your customers uh, who are playing at a national level are actually able to take this transformation to their millions of customers can you tell us uh, some of the benefits that uh, your customers are able to pass on to their customers yeah what kind yeah. of benefits so, you, that your customer is experiencing yeah yeah okay so like uh, one example probably i would say that you know smart meter implementation so like uh, tnb in malaysia okay so uh, when they were actually implementing the smart meter uh, in southeast asia actually uh, that time smart metering knowledge was very limited so innovantage actually brought in people from uh, us uh, who have actually similar project experience knowledge because uh, you know we wanted that a person should lead this program who has at least 1 million above meter implementation experience and this technology or this digital transformation in this part of the world was uh, new and there was no locally available resources and bringing uh, you know expert from us to uh, malaysia at that point of time was really you know difficult uh, uh, you know is a challenge but we managed to bring that and uh, brought the knowledge so if you see the uh, uh, Malaysia's uh, smart meter implementation, uh, you know, they have 9 million customers and till now it is going very smooth, you know, from the beginning. We did the uh, uh, system integration, we did, uh, uh, you know, the project management, we did the program management uh, of, uh, uh, in fact, the, this person actually who came from US, he was the head of the program management. So that level of uh, role we played and benefit to the customers are like you know they will have uh, they have a complete clarity of uh, what they spend you know the electricity every minute they actually know that what is the extra uh, uh, they spend uh, uh, for for the you know air con or for the washing machine they are using uh, at home and also going forward it enables uh, 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 our customer to give time of tariff uh, you know various discounts or bringing uh, you know various other power distributor into the country so like uh, in other parts of the world there are a lot of uh, you know a uh, uh, lot of other distributor not only uh, one uh, company as a distributor so so it opens up uh, channels for all those modernization or okay. digital transformation for the uh, you know uh, common citizens yeah okay.
Fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for uh, helping us know about this. Uh, coming to my next question, can you tell us about uh, the three major uh, service lines uh, of Innovantage? Uh, first service offering is geospatial uh, mm -hmm. services. So even though, uh, uh, you know, uh, the geospatial uh, is very fast, you know, uh, the, the, there are a lot of technology, a lot of solutions. Uh, uh, the data is uh, very complex. Uh, the data also belongs to various technology. OK, so but uh, the good thing about uh, Innovantes is uh, we have all the you know, market uh, talents from various technology has been part of uh, uh, various project for last uh, seven, eight years. And uh, uh, so, you know, uh, we do GIS, we do remote sensing, geospatial modeling, uh, uh, all sorts of geospatial work for necessary planning, optimization, networks and all. But one out of, uh, you know, one topmost services out of it is, which is very high on demand at this point of time, and we are very well recognized worldwide, is, uh, uh, you know, transferring the geometric network data to the utility network data. So as you know, ESRI's ARC uh, uh, map is actually coming to end of life. And that is why most of the utilities are actually migrating from geometric network to utility network. And we are uh, one of the very few companies in the world who have actually knowledge or expertise or proven track record of migrating geometric network of electric water and gas for all these three utilities to the utility network. And on top of that, we have our state of the art, very sophisticated uh, runner platform. So that platform actually migrate, uh, automate 100% uh, this data migration process uh, and does zero uh, manual intervention. So this is a very highly popular uh, product at this point of time. Various utilities have successfully migrated the data uh, using this uh, platform. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the first service. If I come to the second services, uh, second service, because as you know, we are very strong in the utility and telecommunication so far, even though now we are expanding to uh, banking, insurance and all. Uh, but on the second segment of service, we focus more on the engineering software solutions. That means for, so for telecoms, we implement uh, operation support system, billing support system. Uh, some of the telecom companies are using our tower management solutions where we manage seven to 10,000 of towers uh, with our solutions. And uh, similarly, for the electric uh, companies or for the other utilities, we do, uh, you know, ADMS, uh, uh, we do outage management system or uh, meter data management system implementation. These are also, you know, few other engineering solutions for the uh, electric. And uh, similarly, there are few systems like uh, workforce management system or project and portfolio management system. Uh, and there are various uh, peripheral system, cyber security uh, monitoring of the entire uh, you know ecosystem of electric or telecommunication. We do it uh, with various uh, products from our partners. Like uh, for example, we implement uh, VX build from a uh, partner called Accruent. We implement uh, Planishware from a partner from uh, uh, France called Planishware. We implement GE's uh, solutions, GE's ADMS solution. We implement uh, uh, Snyder's, uh, you know, ArcFM solution. We implement uh, like ESRI solutions. Uh, we implement a lot of other telco solutions like SunVision, uh, various uh, uh, other, other solutions. So they are actually, we have a very strong partnership uh, network and we implement their solutions and integrate to the, you know, remaining ecosystem. And the third category uh, of services, I would uh, say is, uh, you know, there are still some gap in, uh, in these uh, uh, products and solutions where actually customers still have their own problem they cannot resolve. So they, they come to us, they, uh, they ask that, you know, here is a problem, you know, can you resolve it? And we do custom tailored made uh, so software development. And uh, for that, we use lattice technology, uh, you know, best practices, and we design, uh, we implement it, 
and we deliver to customer and do the product support maintenance and all. But uh, the unique thing what we bring, the, though this may look like, oh, this is just a software uh, development, but the unique thing in this, what we are uh, bring to the table is uh, in every product uh, or every software we develop for the customer, we ensure that a subject matter expert who has actually knowledge in that particular business function, at least over 15 over years of experience and connected with that particular customer in a uh, either directly or indirectly uh, uh, in in the history who can actually you know uh, sit with the software team and develop end to end product and go to the customer and uh, you know do the entire user acceptance testing and deliver it so we ensure that that part is totally taken care of in such product development so th these are the you know three important thing uh, we do basically at this point of time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Suganta, for uh, enumerating uh, the service lines. And uh, uh, can you uh, tell us about uh, uh, yeah, the newest product, the Conduit Pro? Because I found it uh, pretty interesting. And uh, uh, can you throw some light on this? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this uh, uh, actually Conduit Pro is a again a very sophisticated, uh, high precision uh, you know GIS system uh, specifically um, you know prepared or designed for the duct space management because you know that ducts are underground actually the okay. underground ducts. Okay, so uh, managing you know underground uh, you know assets is very difficult because. The space is already so limited. You do not have, you know, 100% uh, 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 visibility or you cannot go underground all the time and see. So uh, so what we do is we do a digital, you know, twin of the underground in the GIS system. And mm -hmm. actually we, we show the entire 3D visualization of the system uh, a, 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 of the, you know, real time uh, or real life situation underground in the system okay and and manage manage this conduit space uh, share the conduit space with others and cables placement inside the conduits also we manage because uh, the optimization is very important in in these places okay and on top of that uh, you know these conduits are actually shared by many service providers okay that means uh, uh, you have to have dependency between various service provider to lay your cable. OK, so this automate the workflow also, uh, you know, between various uh, service providers so that the minimizing the downtime and maximizing the efficiency and also, uh, you know, various coordination among others. And the last thing what this uh, platform uh, does is it also integrate to all the other systems external to the GIS system and bring all the data from external system to uh, the conduit pro system so that the people on the ground, people in the field who are actually doing the daily maintenance support of this conduit uh, or duct, they actually have all the information uh, related to every object in the in, in underground. So that is that is uh, in a in a brief uh, about this project actually, and um, there are very few uh, uh, product uh, worldwide uh, which actually uh, has been built in this uh, uh, you know business functions. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Can you tell me how is the response for this product and uh, how is the business uh, expansion uh, uh, with the Innovantage? Yes, uh, so actually, uh, to be very honest, we have been, uh, you know, uh, not many years in business, but uh, uh, still Innovantes is a eight years old company. And uh, like I have been part of Innovantes for last four, four over years. And uh, uh, the good thing about Innovantes is we have very uh, diversification, like we have uh, uh, presence in nine different countries. We have, uh, you know, we started from Southeast Asia, expanded to uh, uh, Australia, then we expanded to UK and US. Uh, and um, uh, when actually we expanded uh, to new new geography, wherever we went and met customers, new customers, 
the new customers told that they already know us. They already know that we are doing this in Singapore. They know us that we are doing it in Australia. So that's actually a very good, uh, you know, uh, thing um, uh, that whatever we are doing, we are doing it right. And customers are, you know, knowing us before we reach uh, to customers. So and that is also giving us a lot of inspiration to, you know, put our effort on uh, global expansion, going, uh, you know, exploring new territories, meeting new customers. And at this point of time, uh, more than uh, 11 different uh, uh, electric and water companies worldwide are talking to us to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, bring similar solutions and services, whatever we have done in other utility, electric or water or gas. So that's actually a very good thing uh, at this point of time. Uh, and we can see that the pipeline uh, for future is very strong for us. That's an impressive growth in a short amount of uh, time, Dr. Sukanta. And yeah, uh, I, I'm sure you. you will continue the success, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And uh, and coming to your association with WGIC, you are one of the newest members uh, in WGIC. Welcome aboard. I would like to understand uh, what brings you to WGIC uh, in the first place. Yeah. So like I said that, you know, it was uh, uh, our interest always. It has been always like I have spent my like I was uh, one of the GIS doctorate in the 90s so you know i have spent the entire gis career in last uh, you know 30 years so uh, you know wgic uh, and is uh, there for those many years and has done so many good things uh, and has partnership with technology providers uh, partnership with the government uh, various uh, you know academia various end users and uh, Innovantes is also, uh, you know, a player in the similar domain. And it is always good to have, you know, partnership with WGIC so that actually we can actually reach out to the, you know, the larger group. The most important thing what WGIC, uh, you know, in my opinion, has uh, contributed that knowledge sharing, like whatever good thing happening all over the world, you know, the sharing of knowledge has been, uh, you know, phenomenal. And uh, we want to actually, you know, continue to follow those knowledge and also we want to contribute back because uh, uh, since we are also in business, we have been meeting all the uh, utilities, telecommunication uh, and other customers worldwide. We are also knowing a lot of good practices, a lot of good to have things. And uh, it has been always in our DNA that whatever we good things we see in Singapore, if we see that this can help our US project, we you know uh, transfer that knowledge if something we see good in us we think that that will help in our australia project we transfer uh, good, uh, you know immediately so that knowledge sharing is very important and we have actually uh, seen a lot of uh, gain uh, from such uh, sharing so, and we want to do it in a you know larger platform like wgic and also in the advisory uh, policy uh, making WGIC has played a very important role, you know, taking all the geospatial vendors, partners, interest to global, uh, uh, you know, scale, and also, you know, talking, negotiate with uh, various US, uh, you know, government uh, uh, agencies in US, Europe, and other parts of the world. You know, uh, uh, that policy advocacy has been phenomenal by WGIC. And we also, you know, can help WGIC in that, those policy advocacy also. Uh, whenever required, you know, uh, otherwise, you know, we are uh, also, you know, we'll be using your platform, your events, uh, your networking as, um, you know, building our business, of course, because we are a commercial organization. We have to, you know, uh, uh, you know, use this platform as much as possible for our benefit. But at the same time, we will try to give back to the society as much as possible uh, to the younger generation, to the mentoring, to whatever. Uh, it is required. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's a complete alignment of uh, uh, Innovantage's uh, business uh, uh, aspirations uh, and what WGIC is the intending and the mission of uh, WGIC. So we have all the opportunities that you're looking for. Uh, please feel free to use our committees, join our committees, shape the policy matters, and give opportunities uh, uh, for knowledge sharing, your own knowledge 
and uh, and uh, leverage the knowledge uh, that is already existing within the member companies so th thank you so much uh, uh, for being part of this uh, community thank you so much thank you thank you yeah it's okay. pleasure yeah yes so my next question uh, is dr sukanta um so as we have uh, talked about uh, there are a lot of uh, companies uh, which within the wgic there are rich data providers services products and solutions that companies are bringing to the fore so in that yeah. sense uh, how do you see what are your views on leveraging the complementary strengths of other wgic members to create these uh, seamless workflows and solutions yes yes yeah that is very important question actually uh, i have thought many times in my uh, all these years that uh, you know there should be more collaboration i'm, I'm sure this collaboration is happening and yes. uh, of course we will also do a more collaboration that but what my observation is uh, 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 don't uh, take me wrong but you know no. my my perception sometimes i have seen that yeah so sometimes i have seen that lot of activity we do which we do in parallel so probably you know we develop the same product another partner is developing the same product probably you know we can actually join hand and see that whether it is worth of developing the same product or we join hand and develop one product which actually will you know be quicker to market so yes. these are the things uh, also a lot of uh, knowledge sharing of uh, you know quick knowledge sharing suppose we are implementing a new solution and another partner is implementing a new solution so the it's not like now the world is not about competition now the world is more about collaboration actually you know you collaborate faster your customer is happy my customer is also happy so those are the kind of uh, you know uh, collaboration i i think is still missing in the world and it has it can be improved uh, for the uh, it you know the collaboration is happening for sure uh, but you know it has to be more visible it has to be more such uh, you know forums should be created or wgic can actually you know bring uh, like minded uh, people partners to forum and say that okay you know uh, instead of uh, we do differently why can't we do jointly or a lot of brainstorming sessions uh, probably wgic might be doing it because i am not part of the wgic so far we will be uh, gradually we will know uh, better uh, you know in more frequent such sessions should happen you know people should share then people should share what their organization is doing and then probably we can then come up to follow up meetings and discussions can we collaborate further in this area uh, because because some of the partners you might have you know members you might have they only operate in us region probably some of the uh, uh, people would be in only in europe region like uh, and probably the problem is same so so in 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 collaborating in wgic probably you know uh, with half of the effort you know both both the partner can actually leverage benefit out of it uh, did i uh, answer the question you did uh, actually correctly. you actually did yeah, yeah. So that's the that is okay. something uh, many members are asking for we need uh, deeper connection uh, so that uh, the collaboration can be improved so that uh, we create products uh, as you have rightly said in much faster time and uh, in, in a more comprehensive way to address the problems of the customers right so that is yeah. something uh, uh, the inner dialogue within the industry as a as a very coherent unit is something that is uh, very uh, intensely felt within the community so uh, so you yeah. you are uh, at the right place uh, at the right, right time i guess sure I'm looking really looking forward to meeting and uh, having you interact more, work more closely with our committees. Uh, looking forward to rich uh, engagement with Innovantage, Dr. Sukanta. Thank you so Thank you much so for much. your time. Thank you, Vanu. Thank, Thank you, you for your time as well. Have a nice day. You too.